All right, Shalom, I want to first start off giving our praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashum Yahweh Shai, Bahashum Rakak Kodash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp, and I got a quick scripture for you. This is St. John 77, and, and this is Yahweh Shai speaking, and he's speaking to his brothers. Basically, his, uh, I believe his biological brothers, okay, that were uh, not in the, in the truth. All right, let's read it. It says, the world cannot hate you. So who is he talking to? Let's go up. St. John 7 and 2, it says, now the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand. His brethren therefore said unto him, Depart hence and go into Judea, that thy disciples also may see the works that thou doest. So it tells us right there, you know, who Yahweh is talking to. He's saying, The world cannot hate you in John 7 and 7. Why? Because what does the scripture say? Let's get it real quick. I believe this is in. Let's see. This is St. John chapter 15, verse 19. The 19th verse. It says, If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. So if you're of this world, meaning you're into the into this world, okay, into the setup, the the customs, the traditions, the mindset, okay, of this present world. In, in this particular verse, um, you know, his brothers, they was, uh, they were not uh, uh, in the truth, I'm sorry, uh, not in, in the truth, okay? They were uh, pretty much of, 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 the, of the world at that particular time. The, the things that were going on, the, the cut into the customs, into the way of life and ultimately what not looking for uh, the kingdom of heaven to come because a person that's in the world you're not looking for the kingdom you know so it says back in St. John so yeah if you're of the world the world will love you you see that's why Yahweh said the world cannot hate you you see why would he make that statement? Because if you have the world, the world will love his own. It says, but me, it hated. <clears throat> and by the way, Yahweh comes in the volume of the book. According to Psalms 40 and 7, it says, because I testify of it. Oh, in other words, I bear witness against it. Same as what we're doing today. We're being witness because we're witness witnessing this wicked world. We're living in it. We see what's going on. Let's finish this verse. It says <clears throat> that the works thereof are evil. So it says because Yahweh Shai, he bear witness that the works thereof are evil. Okay, of this this world. And by the way, they were. Um, they, you know, the Israelites got to keep their way, the law, statutes, and commandments, all right? But they had to pay taxes. They were under the, uh, still, which showed they were still under the authority of the Roman Empire, okay? And right now, where we at today, America, NATO, the EU, is nothing more than a revised Roman Empire. You reread in Revelation, 
<clears throat> that the, uh, the 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 beast that was wounded but not to death is talking about, you know, uh, uh, America and this beast system, NATO, also the uh, EU. Okay. And what's going on? E uh, evil, bad times. Evil meaning bad times. The world is more, this place is. Well, let's deal with America. Well, let's deal with the world. This place is morally corrupt. Okay? The law, statutes, and commandments are, are uh, shunned or looked at as an abomination. Okay? So ultimately, this Bible, because Yahweh Shai comes in the volume of the book, that's why I mentioned it. This Bible, which is Yah the word of Yahweh. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is against this world. It's not for this world. Get the wacky tacky Christians that speak like the Bible is for this bullshit. You know? That this place isn't going anywhere. What's the, <clears throat> if you're in your right mind and we all see what's going on, we all witnessing what's going on, we should uh, uh, be against this place. That this place is evil. This place is wicked. It's abominable. And we can, I can list off all kind of uh, reasons that show that. We all see it. The land of the uh, oppressed, a home of the slave, no justice, no peace, abominable foods to eat, polluted water, polluted air. Okay, polluted minds. You can worship any god in this place. Adultery is pushed and promoted. Homosexuality is pushed and promoted. And the list, the list goes on. You know, so the mindset we're supposed to be in is looking for the kingdom of heaven to be established on this planet Earth, where we will receive the opposite of some of the things I listed off. This will be a law-abiding world. The laws of the, uh, the scriptures, the laws of the Heavenly Father and His Son will guide and instruct the world. The nations will follow this rule. Okay? This way of life. I'm going to end the video right there. You know, Lord willing, it was edifying. Until the next one, I say Shalom.